I just made a uh, sort of grinding milestone for myself. I'm uh, my very first pre-recorded one-hour video uh, is being rendered right now. So, and I'm about to upload that on my Otaku Lifestyle channel. So it's an episode. Uh, it's my show there called the Episode Reviews Digest. So it's my very first uh, pre-recorded one hour episode it's got a lot of uh, entertaining b-rolls and well let's just say i grinded for it all right i didn't even care if it uh, even went even went two hours even three hours as long as i can, as long as i can get on the latest digest out <laughs> right now the the vertical diaries weekly digest doesn't have a one hour episode the most that I put in was around 40 minutes, 30 minutes, all right? These are short entries. But if I, uh, if I would triple down, and I, I might have, uh, it might have its own one hour episode. So we'll see. But the reason why I'm making this entry is, well, you gotta celebrate the grind, right? I, I just made a, a one hour pre-recorded video so that's that's a first for me I'm celebrating it right now by by making this video for my main channel and I just proven to myself that I can <laughs> that I can make a one hour episode all right I got I had a lot to say on that video so yeah it 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 got stretched to one hour so I'm celebrating the grind. I'm celebrating well the small victories, like what I just like what I said in uh, one of my videos. You gotta celebrate the small, even the small victories. So right now you should also celebrate the grind. Okay, that you've that you've uh, already put the work in, and all you have to do is upload it. <laughs> all you have to do is post it. So, yep. I'm celebrating that milestone, that milestone right now. So, yep. You want to help me celebrate this milestone of mine? Comment below, or at least, at least share this video with uh, with someone you know that needs to, well, that needs to grind. Especially if he's if he's do if he or she's doing nothing to accomplish uh, accomplish her dreams, right? How can you accomplish your dreams if you don't um, if you don't put in the work if you don't grind? But I just replied to um, uh, a tweet by a, a tweet by a guy who goes by the name of Alden Richards. All right, si Pampansang Bay. So I um, I replied to his tweet, which is this. Now, he said there, well, totoong sinabi niya, it's okay not to be okay. Because, well, we're all human. We are only human. Okay? The bad thing about it is, some of us, well, some of us are perfectionists. Okay? Did you know that perfectionism kills? It doesn't kill you physically, alright? Let's be let's be clear on that. It doesn't kill you physically, but it will kill it will kill you mentally, emotionally, and most especially morally. Look, humans learn more by two things. Okay, this is my opinion based on my own experience. They learn by repetition and by making mistakes. Okay. That is basic human instinct, or well, let's should we say yeah, basic human instinct. Humans only learn either through repetition, 
or by committing mistakes. Okay? Tao lang tayo eh. Okay? We're only human. We make mistakes. Now, you're, you are an asshole if you don't learn from them. Okay? You are a total asshole if you don't learn from them. So, like Alden said, it's okay not to be okay. Be human. Okay? Repeat, repeat what you learn and don't feel, don't feel bad when you make a mistake. Just learn from it. Right? Learn big time from it. I just uh, went over one of Gary Gary Vaynerchuk's videos. T with Gary V. Right? You know that show on YouTube. It's, he says um, uh, it's real. It's it's a lot of fun beating good. It's very true, especially if you're if you got talent, if you're fortunate, and well, of course, if you got uh, if you got money. Any of those three. He doesn't he doesn't say that. Uh, if you get, if you got money like this, if you got fortune like this, no, it's either of the three. Nothing, no, none of those three are, uh, none of those three are superior to the other. So, if you have all three, right, you will have a blast creating good. What do you mean by creating good? Well, sharing your um, your time, your talent, your money, whatever, or all three to the less fortunate. It's a lot of fun. Okay, I I tried it. With what I've learned so far from the physical therapy profession, we did a I think yeah we did a charity drive in 1994. So I um, I signed on. So I offered my um, I offered my time to to help out the less fortunate in I think um, in in a town in a town in Laguna called Bay B A E. It's but it's pronounced Bay. <clears throat> it's a small town where uh, we get to help the um, the less fortunate uh, know if they're know the state of their health. Okay, so I was there. I volunteered. Okay, with, with what I know at that point, at that at that point in the profession, and it feels re feels really good. Okay, it feels really good. And well, of course, I learned a lot on how to deal with. Uh, deal with the less fortunate with um with not so fortunate people who really can't afford who really can't afford health care okay so that this video by um, I, i'm actually watching i'm actually viewing it now this video by gary v is uh maybe made me go back to that time and it just reminded me that well you got the talent you got the time or you have the money or you have all three you got you gotta create some good. Okay? You gotta create some good. Unfortunately, people always tie doing good to having money. Okay. <clears throat> it's a pathetic notion. Okay. I don't know how I don't know how the concept started, but it's pathetic. Right? You don't have to you don't have to have a lot of money. To, to do good. If you don't have money, well, if you got time, or if you got, or if you if you got talent or know how, that's enough. It's it's, it's more than enough to to create some to create to create some good in other people's lives. Okay. It's a good feeling. It's um, financially yes because you create more connections. Now, it, not not necessarily to the to the less fortunate that you that you created that you created uh, that you created good for, but the people who are also involved, your colleagues in uh, in that drive in that event. So there is there is there is good in creating good, right? Again, Gary Vaynerchuk was spot on in that episode of his. So. It feels good, creating good. Saw one of um, uh, one of Brian one of Brian Rose's London Real episodes, and it featured 
uh, George Gilder, okay. the fut one of the um, one of the earliest futurists, the author of Life After Television and now Life After Google. Okay, he's one economist that uh, I would take I would take uh, I would take his word for, because well, he's been into the game he's been into um, to the game so long you, you gotta believe him, All right? The guy's prophetic, All right? For me, during the sixties. He predicted that, um, well, that the biggest problem for the world won't be uh, won't be overpopulation, but depopulation. Again, like I said, the man is a prophet. Look what's happening to us now. Right? It only takes a pandemic. Okay? It only takes a pandemic. To depopulate the world. Too negative for anybody's good. But we are getting close to fulfilling his prophecy of depopulation. You know what? Okay. Pandemics cause more deaths than wars. Okay. If you look at the um uh, at the uh, the casualties between World War II and the Spanish flu. More people died of the Spanish flu than World War II. Alright? Because, well, pandemics are a, certi are a certified black swan event. Okay? No one, no one saw them coming. No government is prepared. No government is no government is actually prepared for this right now. Okay. Let's face it. If you live if you live uh, if you live in a country, your I'm very sure your government wasn't prepared for this pandemic. Alright. It only takes a pandemic to depopulate the world. Alright. Uh I hate to admit it again. Right. I really hate to admit it again. George Gilder was right. I just couldn't um, get these uh, online diet apps. Okay. I just encountered one over here on Instagram. And I saw their... What their... What, you call this what they're promoting okay it's at, it's at the tip of my tongue finally it came out now why are they promoting whole grains there's nothing wrong in uh, eating a, um, eating a slice of bread the bad thing about it is there's no such thing as well there's no such thing as a um, an original whole grain bread yeah that's 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 just my term but there is uh, the people but people call it by another name I, I forgot that's just that's just my term okay there's no such thing as um whole grain basically why because well over the years scientists have developed um developed ways of Modifying the genetic structure of these grains. Okay. The grains we see now, okay, the grains we see now on TV in print, they are no, they are not the grains they, they are not the whole grains they were five or even six thousand years ago. Na kapag nakita nyo eh, uy, safe to. Pwede ko yung tinapay ito. Talagang beneficial sa katawan. There's no... There's no healthy whole grains right now. Right? And with all the chemicals, and the preservatives, the additives we put in our bread, don't you think it's time you should wake up and refrain from... Refrain from eating bread? Come on! I, I frown at these kinds of diet plans, okay? I frown at these kinds of diet plans that 
that uh, wholeheartedly promote whole grains in their um, in their uh, as part of as part of that plan. Okay, look at me. See, the last time I was this thin was was during the nineties. Was during the nineties, in my late twenties. Okay, after I. Uh, got into the keto diet, then incorporating intermittent fasting. I've gone to that same. I've gone to that weight. I've gone to that same weight now. I'm, I'm now 154 pounds. When I started the keto diet, I was 182, and I was 46 at the time. At 46 year, 46 years old, 182 pounds overweight ka. Right. And these whole grains, instead of making you um, making you lose weight, or even ma maintaining your weight goal, if you've already achieved it, it will help you gain all gain it all back. Okay, that's the bad thing about breads these days. So, me, I well, if I go well, if I go overboard, if I go underweight, that's when I eat bread, but. Only whole wheat. Okay, I don't. Uh, I don't eat the white bread anymore. Nope. I as much as possible. I'm not gonna touch that. Okay, I am not gonna touch that. So, for me, I don't know about you, but for me, the best wellness plan is the keto diet. All right, not this. Um, not any diet plan that. That, that still recommends eating whole wheat, whole grains. Okay? If I were you, I'd avoid those diet plans. I finally decided to, um, to take a break from um, watching Warner TV because last night, uh, Stargirl Season 1 ended. So, uh, that's 13 episodes in. So, I've decided na, well, di man ako magwa Warner TV. <laughs> because the Arrowverse might be, um, the Arrowverse will not be back until, I think, October or November. So, um, it gives me a lot of time to, um, to divest my, um, to divest my money on something else. So, um, yeah, I might divest it in, um, for my anime channel so I'm pretty excited on how on how am I going to spend that okay but I'm gonna but I'm going to um, fund it I'm going to budget it wisely of course it although it's although it's a uh, the anime channel is, the anime channel is a sort of a uh, hobby of mine I still I still got a budget for it but one thing about the arrow verse is well kind of an arrow cool pa rin siya. Alright? Nadagdagan pa nga ng isa pang show eh. Which is Stargirl. Then, I think, they, I think they've started production on, um, I think Green Arrow and the Canaries. Alright? I think that's, I think that's a priority for, um, for the CW to, to push through. Kasi parang continuation din ng Arrow yun eh. It's a legit, it's a legit Arrow spin-off. Kasi eh, it continues the uh, adventures. Uh, it continues the journey of of his daughter Nia, who is the new Green Arrow. Okay, twenty years into the future, na kasi to, right? And she she also receives occasional visits from the legends. So I gotta watch out for that. So, pero in the meantime, pagyaman mo na ako sa Warner TV. <laughs> pagyaman mo na ako sa Warner TV. So. Uh, Last night would last night was the um, was the last night I'm going to see that channel. So once we once our prepaid cable expires, I won't be I won't be adding any more. I'll be adding to that anymore just to watch Warner TV, just to have Warner TV. So yeah, but the things are hobbies. You you got to you got to be more um, you got to be more serious about your money. Okay, this is what I've learned from having. Multiple hobbies and interests. All right, I'll be taking. I'm taking a break from more TV so that I can 
divest my hobby money into something else, particularly my my anime channel. So Savvy Turtle says, morning cup of Jabba the Hutt, and question about YouTube time preference set of Bogota and being four hours behind no matter what I schedule. For now, videos, let me turn so this. I'm on the other side of the planet. I'm just uh, I'm listening right now to one of Nick Neiman's live streams uh, from YouTube, and well, it got me to thinking that here are people who are um, seeking seeking the help of well uh, of YouTube uh, YouTube uh, creators like him, but but most of them won't even. Most even won't, won't, won't even take action about it, right? That's why most of these um, most of these video creators who uh, what you call this who go to to attend his live stream never they never take action. Now, here's the most important step to to take when it comes to your YouTube channel, right? Take action, then take the tips. What do I mean by this? Well, if you've been into that habit of taking action, all right, taking taking um, tips from Nick Neiman and other and other established YouTube creators won't be a problem for you, because when you take those tips, you convert it into action right away. Just like just like what I usually do with my live with my own live stream Advocacy Friday, I take a tip. Then I, then I put it into action right away to see if, well, if it's a fit for me. So the next time you do something, the next time you do something about it, well, take action, then take the tips. It's much easier that way.